Uh, next up, we've got Arizona State and uh, Utah uh, in this uh, Pac-12 matchup. Utah, double-digit favorites, 41 and a half the total. Boy, did Utah get humbled. Man alive, that was a dominant, dominant game yeah. by Oregon. Shout out to them. Uh, I'm not afraid to admit, uh, total wrong side taking Utah uh, at home. It was one of the hey. rare games where we've seen Utah just totally outmanned. Totally they got dominated, but man, but I can, and that's what you need. Congrats to Oregon because Utah had won like what eighteen or nineteen straight at home. Yeah. So a lot. So that's what we were looking that way, and Oregon just stomped them early. That's how you get shut the crowd up real quick. Yeah. It was three touchdowns. Yeah. Yeah. They just said, you know what? Not today uh, for you guys here at this great Rice Eccles Stadium. This tough environment. No, nope. Bo Nix and Oregon went right down the field, opening drive, punched in a touchdown, and really that was the the statement there that hey. Uh, we're, we're bringing it today and we're sending you guys home with a home loss. Uh, and Oregon was just all over them start to finish credit to uh, Oregon for a great game. 35, six. Now does you, how does Utah bounce back? This is now their second loss in conference play. So their PAC 12 dreams are kind of dashed now for the most part, uh, Utah. So can uh, Kyle Whittingham rally the troops? Uh, you know, Bryson Barnes and the offense struggled. The defense got lit up. That's not what you want to see, and it's not what you want to see considering, you know, Arizona State's offense with Trenton Borgett, you know, at quarterback, you know, they've definitely improved in recent weeks. This Scadabo kid, Cameron Scadabo, has been absolutely terrific running the ball for the Sun Devils. They're getting better under Kenny Dillingham every week, uh, it feels like. They gave Washington everything they could handle. What a great win that was over Washington State last week. This is a team that's getting better, and normally I always think, you know, it's sacrilege to – bet against Utah at home. And I'm not saying I'm going to, but my lean is ASU right now. They are getting better. I kind of worry about where Utah's mentality is now. Second loss, you know, you're kind of out, outside the Pac-12 championship picture now. Can you rally the troops and be able to come back strong, play well, and not only win, but win by margin against what's an improved Arizona State team? That's the big question. I'm leaning to the Sun Devils a little bit. What do you think here, Connor? Yeah, I just I think Utah comes back here at home and wins this game. I, I laying double digits here. I don't know. And Arizona State, you know, I, I liked them last week. They finally get to win. They played so many close games. And that game, they were able to move the football better, like you mentioned, Savano. Uh, but I still think their defense is pretty good, and that can keep them in this game. And we have a low total. I think it's if this is low scoring. I think the plus 10 and a half is alive with Arizona State. Utah's offense just just hasn't looked right. I know, hey, they played SC. We've seen any team and every team seem to get to what? 28 at least. Like I guess maybe Nevada, you go back to the second game of the year. Uh, so, yeah, I just uh, – I look at lean under here in the points with Arizona State. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm, I'm – uh... I'm kind of leaning Arizona State. I hate the idea that I'm even thinking of going against Utah at home. And it, w it wouldn't totally shock me if Whittingham's able to rally the troops and they come out with a strong, res resilient effort and they bury this team. But I don't know. I don't know if Arizona State's buryable right now. Like, Borgay's playing well at quarterback. Uh, like I say, the defense is improving. What they did to Michael Penix Jr. was damn impressive a couple weeks ago. I know it was a big letdown spot after Oregon, that win for Washington. But their defense is getting better, Arizona State. So, and again, Utah's offense with with um, Barnes winning by margin can still be a question mark. So we'll see how this one transpires.